I had to wean off all the medications I was on to fight for my life and fight for health care. No patient should be saying that. I had to carefully wean off all the medications I was on, some of them powerful medications that doctors didn't know how to get me off of. I had to wean off all the medications to figure out what what is actually wrong with my health and to get my brain back to be able to fight for health care. No patient should be saying that. It has been an absolute fight for my life here. For a long time, I, I, I you know, for more than 20 years, I, I felt that something is, is wrong here. It, like the cognitive dissonance, the confusion, that, that things don't add up. Something's wrong here. And 15 years ago, I started to verbalize and amp up the pressure with my doctors. And I started to say, you know, at, at this point in time, I think the medications are, are either making me sick or keeping me sick. And... uh I was told that I had to stay on the medications because they were keeping me alive and I would die if I weaned off the medications. So here I am, a patient, and I feel that, that these medications are making me sick. But I don't really know anything because I'm uneducated, I'm, I'm vulnerable. I don't know anything about pharmaceuticals, but I've tried everything, right? I, I keep going back. I'm, I'm, I don't know what's, what's happening to me. Uh, I'm sick in all sorts of ways, and I'm looking to these medical doctors for, for guidance because they're medical doctors, I, I, and I'm uneducated. And, uh, you know, they keep saying, well, well, what about your diet? What about exercise? What about this? What about that? I'm so sick and so sleep deprived. I had to give up my full time job because I was way too sleep deprived. Uh, sleepwalking, sleep eating. I'm fighting to get diagnosed with sleep apnea. Uh, I'm struggling to breathe. I, I'm severely sleep deprived. And they're talking to me about my diet, about exercise. Uh, and my response is like, you know what? I have tried everything to get well. I eat fantastic. I'm slim. I, 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 I've done everything. I, I've bought supplements. I've, I've, I've jumped through all the hoops. I, I, I've always exercised. I've always eaten well. I've always taken care of myself. Like uh, I've done everything. And at this point, I think either the medications are keeping me sick or or making me sick. One or the other. They're keeping me sick or making me sick. And and I was told if you wean off the medications, you're gonna die. The medications are keeping you alive. And I'm like, what? Like, do you actually believe what I what what you're saying to me? And I'm I'm sitting there thinking, either this doctor is completely out of their mind. Either they're delusional about what they're talking about or they're correct and I'm out of my mind. Like somebody's wrong. Somebody is wrong in this equation. And then I went for a second opinion. The second opinion put me on, on another powerful drug compounding my problems, making me sicker. And I'm so so dumb and so uneducated that I go along with this and I'm struggling to breathe and I'm not sleeping and 
I have to find another doctor because this doctor threatens me. The first doctor that, that I bring up that the medications are making me sick threatens me. I have to find another doctor. Now I've got another family doctor. This family doctor says to me, can I phone Dr. So-and-so that you used to see? And I say, no, you may not. And he says, why not? And I said, because I had to find a, a, a new doctor to assess this situation. You're my fresh set of eyes. And he said, okay. So I, I go to for my next appointment. He continues to prescribe. I go to my next appointment. And he says, so I, I called Dr. So-and-so. And I said, what? He says, I called Dr. So-and-so and she said, I said, I explicitly told you that you could not phone that doctor. Oh. There's supposed to be laws and rules in place to protect you from this. These doctors don't think that these rules apply to them. These rules were put in place for situations like this. They're above the rules. You, you have no rights. You have no rights and no protection from anybody. So let's get that clear. You have no rights here as a patient. They'll pretend you do. You call the, the, the disciplinary board. They'll pretend you have rights. It, everything, every doctor will say, oh, it was an oversight. <gasps> oh, oh, I didn't understand what she said. Oh, I forgot. Really? You forgot? You forgot. Guess what this genius tells me? And I trust this guy. He seems kind. He seems compassionate. This genius tells me, oh, no, you, no, these medications are keeping you alive. You couldn't possibly wean off. You'll die if you wean off of them. Literally, we have doctors, either they're delusional. They're either delusional about what medications are and what they're doing for us, or, or they're what? They're wrong. And, and so I'm looking at this guy thinking, either you're wrong or I'm wrong. Either you're out of your mind or I'm out of my mind. Like, like there's some, a, a big piece of this puzzle is missing. So I go home and I start to wean off the medications. And I start to feel better and better. And I go to my next appointment and he's like, wow, you look so, you look fantastic. What have you been doing? Weaning off the medications that you told me that I would die if I, if I weaned off of. 